Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Sarazzle Dazzle Physics. In today's session guys, we're going to be talking about simple harmonic motion guys and we're going to be proving the equation the velocity is equal to plus or minus omega, the root of a squared minus x squared and the velocity maximum will be equal to omega times by a. Okay, so there's a lot of jargon over there guys, but hopefully you've watched my other lessons on simple harmonic motion before watching this one. Right, so let's try and get into it guys. So first of all, you might see these formulas in your formula booklet guys, but obviously I'm gonna explain where they come from today. Um, there might be some variation between um, what the variables are in your formula booklet compared to this one, but don't worry, I'll just go through them. But make sure you understand what's actually going on here. Right, we'll start off with the following. Okay, so here we have a mass spring system, guys. So over here we have a mass spring system. So we have our block in the middle of it, guys, and there's coils attached to both sides. Not coils, I mean springs, guys. Uh, and look at this point here, this is the equilibrium position. So right now, uh, this is the equilibrium position over here. If we were to push this block all the way to the furthest point, we're going to call this the maximum displacement A. So this is going to be the maximum displacement A. So A is going to stand for the maximum displacement, everyone. So A is going to stand for maximum displacement, everyone. Uh, let's say you weren't at the maximum displacement, guys. Let's say you're just at a certain distance away from the equilibrium position. We're going to call this X over here. So X means any displacement. So just a displacement at that point. X is any displacement. So obviously, equilibrium position, guys, the displacement X will be equal to zero over here. But obviously, if you're the furthest away, the displacement is going to be capital A, which is the maximum displacement. And, and for any other value of X, it will just be over here. Right, okay, now from here guys, we're going to talk about the conservation of energy in this system over here. So for the conservation of energy in the system guys, we know that the total energy of the system, so energy total of the system, will be equal to the sum of the kinetic energy of the system, the kinetic energy, EK, E kinetic, plus the potential energy, so the potential energy in this case here. Right, okay, so you're probably thinking, oh my goodness, what, what on earth is the potential energy here? It means that obviously if you are going to move the, the mass along, it will store some energy in this case here, which will be the elastic potential energy, which will be the elastic potential energy. Okay, so the potential energy, guys, we'll just make a note of that, guys. This usually refers to the elastic potential energy. So the elastic potential, that's what it's really referring to in this case here. Right, so first of all, the energy in total, what would be it? What would be the maximum energy that will be stored? Well, hopefully you know this, that obviously, let's say, let's look at the extreme. When the, the block here is moved furthest out over here, we know it's made the maximum displacement. It's made the maximum displacement. And therefore, it has the maximum potential energy stored. So the energy total, the total amount of energy you can ever store will be equal to half k a squared everyone happy with that okay if you've forgotten where that formula comes from guys hopefully we have a reminder that uh, we know that uh, elastic potential energy guys half times by k times by the extension squared over here okay so half k x squared right but obviously the total or the maximum amount is obviously going to be a half k a squared because it's the maximum amount of potential energy i can store and obviously, guys, it's the maximum amount of energy can be stored over here. And obviously, that's when the displacement is maximum because I have maximum EPE over here. So maximum EPE. And obviously, at this point over here, the velocity is zero. Yes. And then we have the minimum velocity over here. We have minimum velocity over here. Right. The kinetic energy, guys. Well, the kinetic energy will be given by a half times by the mass times by the velocity of the object squared. OK, over here. Right, then, what about the potential energy, the other elastic potential energy? Because this is the maximum. What about like at this point here? So let's say we've moved a certain distance out over here. The potential energy stored just when it's at this point will be equal to the kinetic energy plus the elastic potential energy at this point. So I'm going to add the half times by k times by x squared. Okay, everyone happy with this? So look, look at what we've done here. The energy in total is obviously going to be when it's the maximum elastic potential energy. That's obviously when the displacement is maximum. The kinetic energy is a half mv squared. And the elastic potential energy, guys, is going to be a half kx for any value of x over here. 
don't forget one is at maximum that's why it's the energy total and x squared for any value okay right now from here guys we're going to try and rearrange it guys to make v the subject guys so over here we're going to move um so it's going to be a half times by mass times by velocity squared is equal to a half times by k a squared minus a half times by k times by x squared in this case over here everyone happy with this yes now from here guys we just factorize that the halves guys will come out so half m v squared is equal to a half uh, and it's going to be the k will pop out again and it's going to be uh, open bracket a squared minus x squared over here yes a squared minus x squared don't forget a is maximum displacement x is at any displacement now from here guys we're going to do the following so the half half cancels out guys therefore we end up with v uh, is equal to um, k over m oh sorry v squared is equal to k over m open bracket a squared minus x squared over here there we go okay so from here guys we can do something quite nice we also know that um, for the mass spring system t is equal to 2 pi root m over k yes and therefore this works out we can get our value of omega if you've forgotten what omega is omega will be equal to root k over m so the value of omega will be equal to root k over m if you've forgotten that don't forget guys that omega is equal to 2 pi over t guys watch my other video guys if you don't understand where that comes from over here so now we know that omega is equal to the root k over m we can chuck that into here so therefore it becomes v is equal to uh, and obviously guys that's is omega is equal to root k over m so this is therefore going to be equal to omega squared open bracket a squared minus x squared over here there we go and obviously this is v squared and then taking the square root from both sides is going to be plus or minus and obviously when you square root the whole thing square root of omega squared open bracket a squared minus x squared it becomes then obviously it becomes it becomes plus or minus omega root of a squared minus x squared guys and that's it guys we've proved our formula guys that the velocity at any moment guys if you have a system like this will be and you've got uh, the maximum amplitude and x of any value will be equal to plus and minus omega root a squared minus x squared over here fantastic stuff guys there we go there we go, we've proved our equation, guys. So you can use this equation to work out the velocity of the mass of the system whenever uh, you're given the maximum displacement and the value of x of how far it's actually been displaced here. Easy stuff. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is the following. So what about this then? What would we get as a formula for the maximum velocity? What would the maximum velocity be? Okay, so what about for the maximum velocity? Well, we should remember that when v max occurs, when is that going to be in a system? When is it moving at the maximum velocity? Well, it will be when it's going through the equilibrium position. That's when it's moving the fastest over here. So at V max, we know uh, is when X equals zero. Yes, because it's going to be not moving at all over here. Then we can plug that into our formula. V will be equal to plus or minus omega, the root of A squared minus zero which therefore v obviously i'm going to put subscript max now obviously v max will be equal to plus or minus omega the root of a squared so v max is equal to plus or minus omega a guys yes so that's a very nice formula for us to use as well sometimes you might see it in formula booklets such as uh, v max is equal to omega a so you might see that as well, guys. So V max is equal to omega A, guys. Easy stuff over here. And that's it for another session of Sarazzle Dazzle Physics, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe to keep my channel going, guys. And obviously, make sure you can prove that equation V is equal to plus or minus omega root A squared minus X squared. And V max is equal to omega A, guys. So pause the video and go through it to back up your own notes. All right, guys. Ciao, ciao, and goodbye.